I've walked farther in my house <laughs> at age 48 because I told myself to go get something and then when I got to the room I couldn't remember why. <laughs> no, 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 this is serious, this is serious. Because it isn't like my wife said to get it, so I said, well, it's not important. I'll remember it when I'm ready. I told myself to get up. And it wasn't that I walked three miles and had time to forget. It was a short walk. It was from here over to here in my house. How can I forget why I set myself after something that was important? But something happens, I've walked farther in that house, whether it's upstairs or to another room, to get there and then not know why I'm here. But my body is excited about getting it. My body says, we're here, pick it up. And I said, pick up what? I'm talking to myself, my body said, pick it up, and I'm saying, why am I here? And my body said, I don't know, my job is just to pick up things. And my eyes, they tried to be so nice. They said, well, let's look around for it. Maybe we'll find it. And I said, good, find what? And my eyes said, we don't know. Our job is just to look around. I said, then why did you bring it up in the first place? And my eyes said, because we're tired of you arguing. And so I stand there in the room and I'm making circles, looking around for something I don't know what the hell I'm looking for. And I get the feeling that in that room is the thing that I came to get. And it's looking at me and going. <laughs> and so I leave the room. Talking to myself. Now what, did, now what did I go in there? I was sitting here. And I said something, get up and go, why? I don't know. Your mind plays tricks. I believe that there's about 3,000 voices. And if one of them decides to trick you, it will tell, it will tell you, get up and go to. And it knows you, you want it. So it tells you to go. You get up, you go there, and just as you step into that room, this thought leaves your brain. And it hides in your body. Now where does it hide? Here. Yes, this is where it hides. You know how I know? Because when I go back, Sit down. I said, you know, I go, oh, yeah, now I'm... That's where it is. So my suggestion to you is, when you're in the room, and you can't remember what you came to get, no, no, not sit down. Take your hand like this. Don't let your children see you doing this now. And press real hard. That'll send it up to the brain. You'll remember why you came. What I'm talking about as you get older, how you can just, it just goes. Now the one I'm talking about, you're sitting. So I don't know where this thing hides. And, and, and this one says, call so-and-so. And you say, right. Pick up the phone, and it'll give you the numbers. <laughs> now from here <laughs> to here, that thing runs out of your brain, and now you're sitting there listening to a phone ring, and you have no idea who you're calling.
Now, stupidity also goes hand in hand with this, because you could hang up if you want to. I mean, this is not a communist country, this is America. You can hang up if you don't know who the hell you're calling. But I'm just gonna be stupid. I'm just letting this thing ring, and I hope the people know who I am. Now, they pick up the phone, and I still don't know who this is. They say, hello? So I say, hey, how you doing? And they say, who is this? And I hang up. Now they call me back. I say, hello? They say, did you just call me? I said, who is this? And they hang up on me. Pitiful, pitiful, you gotta rebehave. Gotta learn how to live with it. I want my wife back because it's wonderful, it's wonderful. We've been married 23 years, it's lovely. I don't know how many of you just got married, maybe two years, maybe three, maybe one year, maybe a week, but it's wonderful. And, and don't be afraid to argue. I don't want you to make up an argument, but just don't be afraid to argue. You know, when you're, when you're newly married, you, you get so you, you're afraid to argue. It's, oh God, is this it? Is this going to be this? No, argue, let it out. First two years of our marriage, I had a ball. Mmm, I had a ball. Because I'd look at my wife when I wanted to, and I'd say, run! 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 Tears run down her cheeks and she'd run upstairs and slam the bathroom door. <coughs> and I'd sit downstairs and I'd say, row, row. <laughs> row, 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 row. I don't know what happened to her in the third year. I don't know what happened. The communists got to her or something. But I remember distinctly, I looked at her and I said, Row! And she said, Harrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. They came to my house. 